Yes. What's your topic? So I've been thinking a lot about elementary school recently. Of course recently, you have. Just you because that's the type, pedophile. type of life that I live. And, um, you know, I was thinking He's got to go to the bathroom. God, Nicky Nick. I'm sorry. Okay, go for it. Just do it. I can hear the top now. No, you can't. You always say stuff you can. You can't. I come back and I'm like, what are we talking are you, about? Here's what I want to know. Are you going to get a cup of coffee and a water, too? Yeah. Do you want some help? Okay. Can we cut? Or? No, just let it go. Just cut this part out. I'm going to. Or leave this in. I don't care. Fast forward. I like Colin Settle. Tim. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're four year olds. Did you like the timing? Yeah, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> Tim, what, let's Tim just what's your there. topic? What's your topic? My topic is elementary school, but yes. specifically That's the the games and the sports that we would play. So I'm talking things oh. like tether ball, handball, four square, four square. kick. Ball. Oh, I was the fucking ball. Oh. You know, uh, maybe a little war there ball, a little dodge Got ball, it. whatever the hell you guys call it. Bombardment. Bombardment. That's no. what you guys yeah, call it. Yeah, we bombardment. So I, I want to hear if you guys have any memorable stories of this, if there's anything that you guys didn't like. Oh, man. I'm and a... What were you the fucking man at? All right. So I'm going to introduce you guys to a little piece of my life. It was called Nine Square. Now, I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys are aware. Uh, aware. Four Square is a, a fun game, and I like mm-hmm. Four Square. I respect Four so you Square. Check but into things. Exactly. Do you guys know what Foursquare is? I, I remember I know Foursquare. Square. I don't know Foursquare. Don't know so Foursquare and Nine Square were... Greg does not know Foursquare. Sorry. All right, so I'll explain. Because Foursquare, Foursquare was not on Long Island. That was not a thing that I ever played on Long Island. When I, when I moved to New England for, you know, in my in my early years when my parents got divorced for a little while, that's when I learned Foursquare and Nine mm-hmm. Square. Mm-hmm. Foursquare is a game played with a bouncy ball, mm-hmm. and it's on a grid of four. Uh-huh. And each, it's squares. The blocks might be... Like four by four, by, maybe yeah, something by like five, that. Five, four five by, by four, five, maybe. something like that. And the idea is, there's different rules, whatever. But you're basically bouncing the ball back and forth with each other and trying to hit the ball out so that the other person can't hit the ball. So you have to hit the ball like in their square, and they have one bounce, and then they hit into another square. And so it's on like and so ping forth. pong, kind of, but you're humans instead of paddles. Okay. And so there's four people. And there's four. Okay. So f- yeah. it's a fun game, but when I moved to York, Maine. And I went to an elementary school there. This was in fourth grade or fifth grade. Home of the York Pepper and Patty. Ho- home of the York Pepper and Patty, exactly. And southernmost town in Maine. And uh, ooh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they got the idea of the commercials. <laughs> it is very cold up there. So cold uh, and minty. But it's a nice, it's a beach community, or whatever. Anyway, we would play this game called Nine Square, and this was a thing. It, nine Square was four square with nine people, nine squares, and there was a square in the middle who was the server, and then it was surrounded by a grid. So it looked like a, it looked like Doctor Wiley's. Like stage select screen. Doctor, right? okay. wait. So the, there was actual courts for this made, or yeah. did you like? Chop no, no, there them was out? courts that were made for this. Really? Yeah. Holy. Like crap. people like painted and all this kind of stuff. And the person in the like, if you w- made it all the way to the center square, you would serve server not in the ninth square, and then you would serve the ball. And there was all these moves you couldn't use. You couldn't use what was it? you couldn't go Upper underhand. Yeah. yeah. You, like uh, up, you could like there was all and people would slam the ball if you hit it on the line. There was all these crazy yeah. rules. People would get back in line and wait to get back into the first square mm-hmm. and then work their way back through the grid. Mm-hmm. I fucking loved that game. I'm telling you, I loved that game so much. And when I moved from Maine then to New Hampshire, no one played it there anymore. Did you inter- introduce no, it to the kids? No, 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 because at this point there was other games that people played, mm-hmm. you know. And it was that was also I moved to New Hampshire. So it was fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, I think, in Maine, and then seventh and eighth grade. Uh, I was I went to a private school in New Hampshire, and it was, uh, and then I would go home to Long Island over those summers to be with my dad. So no one played it on Long Island. I didn't even try to bother introducing everyone. I mean, we were too busy playing fucking street hockey anyway. Right, uh, a real man's hobby. Real exactly. man's we were sport. actually technically playing roller hockey because we wouldn't play on foot. That shit was for pansies. Um, and then uh, I I tried when I went to New Hampshire. I, I lived I lived in Dover, New Hampshire, and this was just twenty minute drive from York, Maine. It was like. Another world. That's like so they had crazy. no idea what the fuck I was talking about with Nine Square or Four Square, and we played other games where, but Nine Square that was the fucking game. I dude. love, I love that different shit. places actually. Like I love that it actually was a thing because like there was like Four Square courts in my elementary school, like on the um, whatever the hell the shit's the called, pay, the playground. Pay, yeah, the playground, whatever. The gridiron. Yeah, as they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thunderdome. Yeah, and uh, but I love that like you didn't even have that. No, I've never all. seen that game played. Man, that's crazy. To I would me. think that that's you kids were dumb, and I would have made fun of you. Because there's a lot of games like that just require a wall, you know. So there was oh, hand for us. There was handball and wall ball. Wall ball. Wall-y. Is that when you would peg people? Wall ball is when you just no, no. It's just when you just hit it against the wall, like straight against the wall. But what was the game when you threw a racquetball or a tennis ball against the wall and a bunch of people and you tried to catch it? 
But if you if the ball hit you and you didn't catch it, then you had to run to the wall. I think we call it suicide. Yeah, it was that suicide. Was that suicide, was yeah. And then you have to run to the wall and touch it. But like other people, if they pe- they like peg, it was like horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> like, because because it was like, you, really painful. Because like you didn't go after the ball unless you knew you could catch it. Yeah. Right? And then sometimes it would bounce off your hand. And you would fucking run like lightning towards the wall before you got pegged with a fucking racquetball. <laughs> yeah. At like a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird, weird, we, th- weird things kept me entertained. Anyway, we used to we used to play handball, but I didn't play. Uh, I, I never liked like hitting the racquetball or squash ball with my hand. We also played it with the bouncy ball. Did you guys yeah, play yeah, that? No. So handball is with the bouncy ball. Okay. And then you have to hit it so that it bounces on the floor so first. It's and like racquetball, basically. Racquetball rules where you hit it, it has to bounce against the wall yeah. once, and then you got. Yep. That was always that was always a lot of fun. Uh, would, you'd always have the people that tried to actually play handball, which is like handball. Where you're actually playing racquetball with your hand. That's an actual sport. It's actually really popular on the East Coast. I don't know why, but it is. Um, couldn't do that. That took way too much concentration. But the big bouncy ball where you go, you come down on it real big and try to get it to yeah. arc over the person's head. That was always a blast. Yeah, I mean, it's just so funny because I remember there's all these like stupid. It's like no rockets. Rockets is when you hit it and it like would just go straight against the wall without the bounce and right. stuff. And you gotta bounce. Or sometimes there was rules. It's like you get one rocket per game. And like, there's all these like different like. It was like fucking video game in real life, and there's all this crazy shit. But I'll never forget. There's this fucking kid named Nate. Nate. God damn it, Nate. That kid. He was such. He was one of those like punk ass kids. Like, oh, my uncle works at Nintendo, and it's like, all right, yeah, my uncle. He also is a uh, Olympic handball guy. Like he's just he's one of the best handball Maybe players. Maybe his uncle is just dope. Hand, handball's not the fucking Olympics. It's just like, but he would tell everybody. How many this. rockets do you get in the Olympics? He, this kid also he was just like yeah. And then my other uncle works at a lead pencil, a mechanical pencil factory. Wow. This was back when mechanical pencils were really cool. They were the best. <laughs> like, they were cool. Fuck for you, long. Nate. Still really cool. Still really cool. His uncle was like, you know, moonlight. He was doing a lot, doing of, a lot of, of shit, making a lot of yeah. money though. Making a lot the of money. James Bond of nerd tech. Yeah, uh, I didn't like that. What but, did you did you guys ever play? Uh, what's the game? Uh, Three flies up, three flies, where you one person has the football and they just hurl it into the air and whoever catches it then gets to throw it. Oh, no. We played 500 or whatever. Was that 500? Was that what you'd yell at the points yeah, value? Yeah, like, this is 25 and you throw into a crowd of people and it was just your fucking, it was a mosh pit of fucking boys elbowing yeah, yeah, each yeah. other in the eyeballs. Like, everyone would always lose an eye every summer. And you're like, oh. When we had all the snow, we'd play King of the Mountain where they pushed all the snow into the corner and then you go up there and you're like, wow. you're up on this mountain hill and on the you know the if you with the side you've crawled up going back towards it is all asphalt that you're gonna go <laughs> face way on and the other side is they always pushed it back into the parking lot that went up five feet so you're now up 15 feet in the air so if you tumble down the other side you're onto the sidewalks of Glen Ellen oh head cracked God. open blood everywhere oh, that's a great <laughs> idea. Did, did you guys uh, I'm, I'm curious you know these were these were these were summer games more nighttime games mm-hmm. neighborhood games but it, on Long Island I grew up in a cul-de-sac that was like in the middle of the woods and it was only it was six houses and then it was in like the middle of nowhere well, there's, you know, if you went like maybe a few acres in every direction, there would be other houses. But like we lived in a, a place, I was just totally isolated. I used to pretend I was like Castlevania all the time, and uh, <laughs> and so it was just it was six like large colonial houses mm-hmm. set back and like this huge street or whatever. And there was a lot of kids like of all ages that kind of grew up on this street. And we'd have friends over and we'd play uh, Manhunt. Oh yeah, which one was Manhunt? Uh, also known as Ghost in the Graveyard. Uh, Manhunt was like hide and seek at night. Both terrifying. And it was. Horrifying. It was yeah. always scary. It was yeah. awesome. Like you had to have, but the parameters were insane because we'd have like it would be after a barbecue on July Fourth. Everyone would be over. There'd be like twenty five people playing. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and it was like nine or ten at night. I don't know what the fuck our parents were thinking, uh, but this was like the late eighties, so the rules were different. Early nineties. So uh, you, we'd be like, all right, you can use the Moriarty's household, the Cotcher's house. Like yard and um, you know like Maddie and Sue's yard, but no one else's yard. So it was like a triangle, uh, but it was like four acres. You know what I mean? And right. then people would just go hide. And you could only play, like, one cycle of it. Yeah. And the idea was to be able to... It was usually, I think, my stoop, because I lived in the first house, where you had to get to the stoop. Mm. And no, like, and people would chase you, and they'd have, like... So yeah. it was, like, teams of two, and people would, like, be posted up to, like, try to make sure you can never get there. But there were rules, like, where you couldn't be within 20 feet of the stoop or something like that. Right. So people would be, like, hopping over fences and, like, going through people's houses to, like, go but into the back door. this sounds awesome. It was fucking awesome. I don't feel like... Maybe I'm just crazy and deluded, but I just don't feel like people play games like that anymore. Like, that was an all-in, hours-long, tactical <laughs> game. And you didn't want to get caught, because if you got caught, you had to just sit on the stoop and just watch. <laughs> just wait. Let and you just happen. waited, and it, ha- took, it took hours. Yeah. You know, I definitely, I think that people still do it because uh, where I live, I live in this kind of, like, gated community thing, and there's, like, a bunch of little kids. La-dee-da. No, it's, like, a shitty gated community. But, like, it, yeah, it's gated and nonetheless. Center. There was a pool and a rec center, but there's uh, these little, like, group of little kids that I've lived there maybe, like, 
eight years now, something like that. Um, and I've seen them grow from maybe like five to whatever the hell they'd be now, 13. And um, But it's like <laughs> watching them, like that group of kids, I'd say there's maybe like seven kids. They are coming up with these crazy games and they're doing it, man. They are playing hide and seek, running behind people's houses and doing all types mm-hmm. of shit they shouldn't be doing. And I love seeing it. I love seeing them like they're playing with balls in the in the most unique, weirdest ways I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And oh, Getting boy, them both let me tell you what. <laughs> Sucking them good balls. But it's, like, it's really cool yeah. though, like seeing that, like, I, that that's still alive. And the kids do still do that because, man, I remember pretty much doing the same thing you did, but in the city. So instead of there being trees and all this shit, it was just we'd play hide and seek around the block of my house. And the rule was you can't go off in the streets and you can't go in a house, but you're allowed to go anywhere else you want. So people would just be like climbing bushes and shit and just hiding in the bush of some random other person's house. They're like, man, things are crazy. We did. It makes uh, me nostalgic talking about most this. of my uh, uh, games revolved around the pool that we had because I grew up in Southern California in Riverside, which was balls hot during the summer. You're talking like 105, sometimes a little bit hotter than that. You guys, I know from, from experience it in the last week, neither none of you do well in the heat. We're not built for the heat. All. Um, but I was because we would have, we would just make sure the house was like its own insulated air conditioning, like ice box. And then you'd go outside and you'd just be in the pool all day. But we used to play a mean, and I'm talking like hours of Marco Polo to the point where it was like, <laughs> I had the, the fucking lung capacity of a dolphin. I could stay at the bottom of that pool eight, nine minutes. Smoking a cigarette. Down there. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, had, you had an in-ground pool, right? Was, yeah. I yeah, did, yeah. I did, I did too. And I felt like, I felt like the in-ground pool was essential because you could Marco Polo. I respect Marco Polo being played in an above-ground pool because that's a fucking next level. That's next level. That's shit. hardcore. You can't really ass do fish out of water. and shit. Yeah, wait, it's too. Wait, what's a what's in-ground pool compared? It means it's dug into the ground and it's flat, so it's flush with the ground. What's a, okay, but what's above-ground above ground pool? Is a the freestanding pool, that sits on top pool. Of the, like the circular pool. That was oh, that's some bullshit. Those aren't pools. Those are fucking containers of water. <laughs> Yeah, ing- I, I grew up with an ground pool too, and it was, <laughs> and it was, yeah, that was the, the oh my god, dude. Yeah, because you awesome. can't get out in and out of the out of the pool easily. And that's my thing was I always I was the king of fish out of water, fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would do I, like for the longest time. I I didn't I never didn't walk upright. I just I was constantly either with a foot or or like a hand in the water because all you had oh, to do you was make those guys. Oh, it's definitely one of those guys. And then I would do like a flip over the person as he came to me because I fuck with him. I'd be like, I'm here. Yeah, I like I like get, I liked getting to the diving board if I could. Oh yeah, and but like, but like it was it was a risky maneuver. You usually had some cooperation with someone else in the pool by making noise because you'd hear like yeah, I'd get up there and then you'd hear like and like <laughs> and like get, and like, get the, like the the run or whatever. And you knew like when you were in the air, you were risking everything. Was, yeah, you just you know, but just it was just a bombardment of fish out of water, fish out of water, fish out of water, and you're like, God damn it. But we we eventually in high school we got really serious about fish out of water mm-hmm. or about Marco Polo. We played some fucking serious ass Marco Polo games yeah. in high school, and. You know, this is when you'd have, you know, girls over, everyone was hanging out, lot, lots of people just, you know, like, hanging out. We would have some fucking serious-ass games of yeah. Marco Polo. Yeah. And there were rules where it was, like, you can't, you have to have, like, 50% of your body or, or like, 40% of your body submerged or, like, you're a fish out of water. So, like, right, right, right. it was, like, none of that, like, dragging your foot as you're, like, uh, walking like a tip. pirate around the fucking pool. <laughs> yeah. I hated that shit. I was like, it's such bullshit. Oh, man, I would have, my, I would have like, the barely, like, a toenail <laughs> dipped in it. And the, and the favorite thing, like, when you were in the deep end was... Grabbing the leg or something of oh, the person. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we used and, to do, and, like, and then you know, swimming, like scurrying away. I, I like to just, <laughs> I like to get as close as I could to the, the like the person, and then blow bubbles upward just to see, just to let them know that something down there is tickling them. I like Good this Lord. little tickle. See, the, for me, for pools, I've never really got into Marco Polo, but it was always about chicken. When people get on oh, the shoulders fights. and then you just like like fight, oh, was I was so serious about that shit because I was always bigger compared to all my friends. Mm-hmm. So I would just like, especially back in the day, Kevin was like a freaking little like tiny person. Like he was just like he was like four feet tall for since I knew him Thank up God until maybe like a year now. ago. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> although he was also tiny. Like yeah. now he's like uh, I don't even know. I don't know if you heard that, but that's what he is now. Looks um, like a kung fu panda. But like, I would just get him on my shoulders, that's who he looks and like. we'd, we'd fight against like whoever. Like we'd go on these like vacations, and then it'd just be whatever, whatever other random families of kids. So it's like we meet these people and become best friends for a weekend. And I would never let that fucker off my shoulders. I was just like, Kevin, we're we're doing this. Yeah. Like, don't worry. And it's like, to his detriment, he'd be falling over and stuff, but I'm still standing. So his head's on the water and shit, but I don't give a fuck. I ain't going down. Right. But yeah. By the way, I just want to throw a quick note out to you. You were doing it wrong. 
You were supposed to have girls on your yeah, shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's no, like no, the no, fucking. No. Per, that's the perfect picture to, of how it's supposed to work. It never works that it way. It did like two or seven three times guys to, me. to one girl. You're like, well, what are we gonna do? There's every once in a while you'd be at one of those parties, or you'd just be at a pool in Vegas where that would happen, and you were like, "This is the jam right now." Because yeah, <laughs> no, there'd, there'd be girls, and sure. again, but the, the, there's a difference though between me telling, like, whispering to Kevin, no matter what, we're winning. I'm not letting you down. If it if it hurts, just let it hurt. I can't really say that to just random girls. You just can't. Fun. Like that's if not your top as comes cool. off, just let it let it just come let off. Let it come off. Let yeah. it come off. See, but that's that's when we get into a whole other aspect again. Like the thirteen year old Tim pool games scheming. I get that's when things get. <sighs> that there was hot, games where it's just like yeah, that you start losing clothing on like yeah. if you when you fall, it's like strip poker, but it's not even poker. It's just strip chicken. And I'll tell you, Tim Gettys never loses. M- remember chicken. when you were like young? When, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> remember when you were young though, and you would do anything? I'm talking anything to just have a little physical contact with the opposite sex. Yes. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah. You know, where you were like, someone would talk about chicken fights, and I was like, I remember I was just mortified about taking my shirt off in front of anyone. Would I would I would be the guy that like <laughs> during PE when I had to switch shirts, I would I would have to time it perfectly. Like I would have distractions go off over in the side of the gym or like the side of the the, cha- the, the locker Changing room. Anyway. Just so that like like someone would hit something and, and I would within a second be out of one shirt, throw up the other one and just like you know, kind of swim up into it. Um but if there was a member of the opposite sex involved, I would be in that pool in a fucking heartbeat because I had the strength of at least fifteen kittens, I could I could hold it all day because I also have. See, unlike you, where you're tall, I'm short, so I have better leverage when it comes to that. So as long as we're in the, it, it, if I can keep my head above water, I'm there all day. I'll just sprawl out. I'll do like the the fucking tai chi kung fu like stance, like my power stance. Yeah, and I would just be there all day. But there was like just the hint of having a girl, like her thighs near my ear, was enough to make me actually show off. My disgusting belly, and it was gross. It was, it was just a life just lived poorly when I was a kid. So this is this is a classic Tim story of wow, I was a fucked up little kid. No oh god, uh, this is less me being fucked up and more my friends. But still, I contributed. Uh, we would do the game it. where you look for the strings and you pull the strings. Yeah, good game. <laughs> You just you go underwater, you find some strings, and you just pull it and swim away. It's not a game at all. <laughs> That's, uh, I think Again, I have though, a word for that. We won the game. <laughs> I think there's a term for that. Sexual harassment? That might be yeah, it. Yeah, you know, that's it. That's sexual right. assault? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's so always weird. I've, I've said a million things on this show that I'm like, wow, I was an idiot. No, Why yeah, but that? no, when you're a dumb kid, you don't think that way. Yeah, you don't, you don't think that way at all. That at all. Like, it, it wasn't meant that I mean, it was meant. You, you know just want to see some it's boobs. It's weird, but I just want to see some, some boobs. Some boobs. Fine. You know? It's fine. All Every I ever wanted, wanted, really. Here's the deal, though. You can't steal the boobs. You can't steal that. You got to earn the boobs. I see what you're saying. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. No, you can't just that. go up and 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 treat a woman like that. You got to she has to want to take that top off for it yeah. to mean anything. To be fair, I'm not going to say the statement I was about yeah, to don't, say. Yeah, don't even. <laughs> I was going to say. You're, like, pulling, I, you're pulling a Nick moment I, right I, now. I, and I now pants, I feel like I see what's I, like. I would pants like anybody. Like it was just. It was fair game. It wasn't like well, I was you said that before, like you, you were... pants that you pants a girl once, and that was like your first. That was like when there was that, was that realization was like, moment. Of like this is a different relationship. Yeah, Probably this isn't kid kids this. anymore. This yeah. is a guy girl thing. Yeah, but even then with the with like dudes, I would pants dudes. You know what I mean? Like oh, it was it wasn't so much me? doing it to see the boobs. I was just doing it for the fucking. I, there, the I was like the Joker of the pool game. I stopped pantsing. The last person I pantsed was probably my brother. And the, the reason I stopped pantsing people death. was because he just left them off. <laughs> Knowing my goddamn brother, he was just like, oh, cool. And I'm like, no, no, Who you got to put you got to put those pants back on. But you got beautiful balls. But no one wants to see those. There was a, what what was that? What, what was that 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 thing in all of us that made it OK to want to pants another boy? Like what is that? It's because it's not. That it doesn't up? work that way. It doesn't it's not work a sexual that way. thing. You remember it's that when you were a kid? And your, your dick didn't mean anything. It didn't mean it was like it, it, you're How not looking you? at other people's How dicks. How dare you? Or, I remember going. Harvey to, Wallbanger has always meant something. I remember, <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to another another kid's house when we were like I don't know five, six, seven, or whatever. And he's like, oh hey, look at this, and he pulled down his pants and had a little baseball pen and hit himself in the dick, and his dick started getting hard. And we're both like, that's weird. You want to go back to playing with toys? Yeah, all right. Like it wasn't like <laughs> this is a sex thing. This is more more documentary footage for you. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I wanted. Really like, all right, I'm, start, I'm starting okay. to think like I'm really starting to think that we don't want the answers to these questions, Colin. I'm thinking that we're not. We're they, not as they often say, be careful of the questions you ask. You, you really might do. get the answers yeah. that you don't want. My lord, 
before we, we move on, I want to ask, because no one mentioned Tetherball. Did uh, you guys have Tetherball? Fuck Tetherball. Tetherball's whack. Fuck Tetherball, mm. and here's I'm, why. Because I was short. Mm. And all it took uh, was one of those tall ass, you know the kids yeah. that were like this, like they had hair under their arms like two, three years before you did, and they would they, re, they were like six two when they were in fucking fourth grade. Yeah, asshole. You were the guy that was like this, you wanna play tetherball? I'm like, yeah, and I'd be jumping to try to keep up. <laughs> and they would just get that like you yeah. know, that fucking when rabid the look in their rhythm, face. Just like, but would just yeah. keep going and eventually I would just walk off and eat something. I always yeah, saw tetherball so at, when we'd go camping, you would go out to like the campsites or whatever, and like, you know, you'd walk into like the pavilion area or whatever, they would have a little playground. And it would be there and it was just like such I mean, what the fuck is this game? People try to explain it. I'm like, I have no idea what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. The idea is to get the ball wrapped up. And you're going, going one, the other one person's right? going one way and the other's going the yeah, other way. The only thing I remember about Tetherball is that at, at my school, anyway, I didn't go to a very nice school, uh, high school. Mm. Uh, <laughs> one of the worst schools on Long Island, actually. Uh, the, all I remember about Tetherball, like out, we didn't have, we had, they just had like all this shit. I guess this was in actually middle school because um, we didn't have that in high school. Uh, all I remember is the pole being there with a ball attached to it for one day, mm -hmm. the beginning of every year. And then just the pole was there the yeah, rest of the year. That's hilarious. Like, like, without did fucking did fail. Did someone steal it or oh, yeah. did someone misuse it? No, I, I'm sure someone stole it. Okay. Yeah, okay. knowing uh, where I, Bellport High yeah. School. Yeah. Yeah, knowing that place, uh, <laughs> the, the halls of higher learning, as we often refer yeah. to. My sister and I actually went back there because all my siblings went there and we, we just drove there when I was home last time. We just sat in the parking lot and looked. And I was like, Jesus Christ, man. This place hasn't changed at all. Yeah. You still have, like, the the old high school. It's a big school. High school and auditorium and all this stuff, gym. And then in the back, like, our beautiful football grounds, because that's mm -hmm. all they give a fuck about. And then just baseball fields and all this shit where, that they never use or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, like, what is oh, going yeah. on in this school? I have questions about that school. <laughs> and I went there. And I have a lot of questions about it's it. Corrupt. I can't believe I actually... Corruption. It's, uh, I it's wanted a place. To throw That's a quick sure. note out of that with the exception of Colin, none of us mentioned any real sports, which is very telling. No, but we said the the elementary it's school playground stuff. That's true, but none sports. of us mentioned like football. None of you guys were playing that in the playground? But none of you guys were in elementary school. We played pickup games of football. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of made. I mean, you guys really didn't play organized sports, though, right? I played soccer. Soccer? For real. In elementary school, I was on a basketball team. Okay, so. So. Fifth I mean, grade I played, DPL championships. I played organized sports, you know, from when I was a little kid all the way through when I was 18. Mm -hmm. And it was, I played, uh, yeah, I like dabbled with soccer and obviously little, everyone played Little League. Uh, but other than that, I played hockey pretty much year round. So that's not where my mind was really gotcha. going. Okay. But I, uh, we did have some, we had some made up games that were derived from other games that we played. There was a game that we played in high school that we really loved to play and it was called Colin Ball. And it Colin was, it, Ball. yeah, it was a game that I played. I, I would play my, my boys Corey and Cody, my friend Mike Pope, who's getting married soon. That I'm going to be in, you know, in his wedding, um, and a few other guys in our neighborhood. We you, had so in my threw the ball to each other, and then whoever caught it sat there and said something they worry about. Right, <laughs> and then they threw it to somebody else, and they said what they worry God, about. Really, worry and about whoever the state cried of first. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when I moved out of that cul-de-sac where we used to play manhunt, uh, and I moved back with my dad, we lived in another neighborhood, a nice neighborhood that was. All the houses, it was like very old, like post-war neighborhood where all the houses faced outward and then in the middle was like an acre and it was like a playground mm -hmm. and like an open space where people would fuck around. But the thing was is that there weren't a lot of kids in that neighborhood anymore. So we used to just go there after school every day and play column ball and column ball was baseball, but with a set pitcher and a set batter and then people in the field and you had basically three outs and you were trying to get points by getting the ball further and further mm -hmm. and further and stuff like that so that was just a game we played mm -hmm. but that was basically just us playing baseball because we had an odd number of people we couldn't right we couldn't yeah you, it you always had to figure that out right like you'd have just you'd have just barely enough people to catch the ball so you'd have to come up with new rules we mm -hmm. did that we used to do that on my street where you just have one person that would bat 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 until someone caught it and then you'd switch out yeah like it would just go in a cycle Quick shout out to kickball. Oh my god, kickball's yeah, hot. We didn't talk which about I that. played hot. the shit out of in Catholic school. Hmm. Now there's nothing more fun than getting really sweaty in a Catholic uniform oh, yeah. I that those doesn't days. breathe. Remember those things are like yeah, corduroy? Like yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was corduroy yeah. pants, and we used to have these. Uh, uh, they were like brown corduroy pants and these vanilla colored, like taupe colored. Uh, shirts that were made for I think two reasons. One was for Catholic schools, and the other one was for hardcore penitentiaries. I think that like you couldn't shred these things if you wanted to, for fear that someone might hang themselves. I don't know. Basically, you're wearing a fucking milk carton on on your top. Dense and so when you were a kid, were oh my Christ, you would just sweat. You would sweat because God forbid they let you wear shorts. 
in the oh, Catholic school. When I went to Catholic school on gym days, we were allowed to wear. We had a whole different uniform to wear on gym really? days, and we wore it all day. We had so like we had like our shirts and our our pants and our nice shoes and stuff. But then on gym days, we had like a a polo shirt. And either shorts or sweatpants. Oh, you're lucky. And that was like my knows. favorite. I think it was like Monday and Thursday. Or it, it was, I remember it was a big revelation. I think in our junior high, like sixth or seventh grade, when they finally introduced shorts, and that that meant you could wear shorts and do this. And then but they carried it over to the high school we went to too. I was like, all right, this is awesome. But up until then, it was full on slacks the entire time. This is so crazy to me. For me, it was just like wear whatever you want. Just don't wear too much blue or too much red. Call it a day. Oh yeah, I had so to deal with right. that because I went from Catholic school to uh, to public school. And so being able to wear whatever you want was awesome. But Why I, not I think, too much blue, too much red? Like gangs? Yeah, yeah. Crips and Bloods. Back That's in the a 90s, thing, Colin. That, there was this back in the 90s. Have you seen thing. the movie Colors starring Sean Penn and Robert Duvall? Colors, Colors. I don't think about so. the Crips and the Bloods. I mean, I know that those Colors were... I, I understand Which the association gang was of Colors. I'm just saying <laughs> you went to school... <laughs> In he was a, he was a Riverside, <laughs> right? And he went to school in San Francisco, so, so, so I'm just yeah. so I'm surprised we, that that was a thing. Well, it was I mean, nationwide. There, there was, gangs were nationwide. Yeah, there was a lot of back in like middle school where I went in Marina. It was near Chinatown. There was a lot of like gang shit there. So it was like it's surprising. It was a thing. Like they they were serious about it. Like, That's interesting. Really I never thought. I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I went to an awful high school, so I'm sure that I just was wearing things that I should not have been wearing. But <laughs> everyone's like looking at anyone I involved would have been like no anyone involved in like this. Fucking idiot has no idea what's going on. So, <laughs> also, you probably uh, you think you're okay because you're as white as white can be. Mm, sure, um, you can always just say this is my Colin Ball uniform. Yeah. Funny yeah. story about kickball. My uncle's actually a pro Olympic. Wow. Kickball. Is he? Did he invent the pen? Uh, no, but he no, he didn't. The G two pens. Yeah. He invented those. In college, oh, I knocked the window on myself playing kickball. How? Well, oh, every how? Other tailgate we played kickball. And that was actually the birth of Team Fat. That's the first time I'd ever heard of Team Fat because there was Team Fat, fat versus Team Skinny. And I was always on Team Fat, of course. And we usually called it we were going to be the skins. So we take off our shirts in this field. Because what <laughs> the Antler Tailgate backed up to the practice field for the actual football uh, folks. But they were off playing the football game we're getting ready to. So we would go up there and play it on there. Kind of break in. Don't tell anybody. You kind of sneak around the fence, though, and go out there and play kickball. And so we'd play kickball out there drunk, just drunk off your ass. And this one time, I'm in the outfield as I always was because I didn't want I didn't want to catch the ball. I didn't want the ball coming by me. I have no business with the ball. I got my my beer. I'm chilling out in the, mm-hmm. out there, and I'm back there. I finish this beer. I spike it on the ground. And I turn to Big Fat Robert and I go, Big Fat Robert, <laughs> after this out, I'm gonna come fight you. And he said, All right. And so the guy got out and I ran at Big Fat Robert. And Big Fat Robert set himself. And just as I got two feet away from him, I slipped out from underneath myself and sprawled out on the back and knocked the wind out of myself and rolled around in pain. And Big Fat Robert just stood over me in his fight stance. So who would we say won that fight? Big Fat Robert. Yeah. What did we learn, Greg? Have you <laughs> talked to Big Fat Robert lately? I have not talked to Big Fat Robert lately. He Last I heard, back to, went back to St. Louis, was uh, running a grocery store there. He had, the Big Fat Robert's claim to fame when he originally arrived at the Antlers was that he rode the bus with Nelly before Nelly got big. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good story. It was. So and that was I, a good... I wonder if you want to go take a ride with him. Smoking L in the back of the Benzie? Yes, thank you. Uh, did, did I tell you, by the way, that I, uh, speaking of that song, that there, there was a girl I knew in high school that got really mad at me and never talked to me again because uh, my friend Cody and I made fun of her because she thought he was saying, smoke an L in the back with the benzene. And I was like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Wait, what's That's the not what he's saying. He's saying in the Benzy. Oh, Benzy. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Must we just laughed at her, and she like never talked to me again after that. Hey, and I like to think that she money. still thinks that here's that song. I and know thinks. something you don't know, <laughs> and I got something to do. Good record. That country grammar. Never wanting people straight mm. down the floor. That first record was awesome. That Nelly's a failure. Uh, that was a great topic, Tim. And I bet you didn't know it was sponsored. By the one and only Squarespace. Hey, hey Squarespace. Hey. Four square. No, Space. not four square. No. Well, that was the segue, though. Nine you Squarespace. were good. You were thinking of it in your head. You just didn't say it. I don't think I was. Ooh. I think that was confusing because there's another, there's, you know, squ- four square is the thing. So you have to, I don't want, that's a different thing. This one helps you build websites. Okay. We built our website on it. Nick. We did. Nick, are you a smart man? I'm not a stupid man. Okay, that's in the middle somewhere, I guess. I'll take it. Um, yeah, of course, Squarespace allows you to build professionally designed uh, websites, regardless of your skill level. What are you doing? Do they, they say they have intuitively easy-use tools. Do you agree? It's very true. Actually, uh, recently I was actually updating my own private website, which unfortunately... You have a, what are you doing? You're going to fucking quit? No. 
I put all the E3 stuff on there from from last uh, season. I like to keep an archive of everything that we. Yeah, done. we do that on YouTube.com. Yeah, so except kind of it's all a big mess. And it What's usually your site? NickScarpino.net? Dot net, unfortunately. Yeah. Tim just said that. Did NickScarpino.com? Is that the Portillo's Nick Scarpino? That's Portillo's Nick Scarpino. Nick which, Scarpino which, got everything a lot. Yeah, he cr- he crushes me at every turn. At every turn, I he crushes him. me. Uh, but no, I was actually trying to to, to dial in some function, some new functionality on that website, and it's not built on Squarespace. And unfortunately, it was just impossible. I I couldn't oh. do what I wanted to do, which was made ever so more bittersweet by the fact that when I was making our website, uh, having something just as simple as an email form is all just dialed in there, right? And just and they know what all, they're doing. It's all provided for you on that platform, which is very, 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 very useful. Well, if you didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, Squarespace starts at eight dollars a month, and you can get your free domain if you sign up for a year. Here's how they're paying the bills with us. Uh, start. Your free trial site today with no credit card required at squarespace.com. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code kind of funny, all one word, to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, build it beautiful. Thank you, Squarespace, for supporting the show, allowing us to live this dream. Thanks, Squarespace.